Next area. Sand molar, uh-oh. Those molar bastards. You know, we are really getting a lot of fucking dungeon done here. I didn't realize how much... Because usually when I play this game normally, you know, not leveling up like a motherfucker, getting to this point is difficult just because the monsters are so hard to defeat. But I have trained up my character so well that this is this is a non-issue here. <laughs> yeah, fuck off, you dumb monster. I do love this fucking hammer, though. Like, it is heavy. Like, the way the way it works in this game. I don't, I don't know if it's just the look or the feel. But it is a heavy weapon, but it does so much damage that it makes more sense for it to be heavy. Which is why I want to, which is why I want to try the whole Dark Coin Absorb thing with Max. Because if he could work with it pretty well, I'd, I'd honestly love it. Because from the looks of it, it seems like if he did a little bit more damage, he could defeat these monsters. And honestly, is that, isn't that really all you need? Because the issue with the, uh, the Dark Coin is that every, every single hit takes away points, or health points from you. And, you know, Absorb helps that a bit, from what I've found out. I've never done the combo personally, so I, I don't have an honest opinion. But the, dark, the, the Absorb Coin does, from the sound of it, help out. I don't know how much, but hopefully enough. Yellow box. Oh, no, I missed. Damn. I think that crystal thing could sell for a bit, but, eh, whatever, not that big of a deal. But, um... I totally blinked out what the fuck I was talking about. I think I was talking about the, uh... Oh, the dark coin, yeah. So, the heavier hits are probably the better thing, because with max heavier hits, he's gonna do a lot more damage per hit, and lose... Because you're gonna lose the same amount of health no matter how much damage you do. So if you're like Monaco, where you're more based around combos, it's bad to give her the Dark Coin Absorb ability, because, because having her do con constant hits means that you're going to constantly be losing health. But Max here, he does major one-hit kind of things, and he's going to lose the same amount of health as Monica does, but he's going to do way more damage than Monica. Ah, damn, fuck that up. Yeah, fuck off, you freak. So I do have to give that a test. I don't know, maybe at the end of uh, this session, or at least uh, when I, I, I got to do some editing for. I, I, I am way back on my backlog for Dark Cloud 2, so I do need to get some a lot of editing done. And I think after this specific session, I'm gonna do that. It's nighttime for me, so maybe not tonight. I got. Sh I, got I actually got to wake up in a bit to. I got to wake up in a, a bit early just for one specific thing, and then I'm going back to bed. <laughs> but other than that, um. Oh yeah, uh, Max's thing has a lot of lightning, so the fish are actually going to die easy to him. Alright, cool. Getting a lot of level ups here. You know, I'm not happy that I don't have my weapons, but for the most part, most of these weapons do have a... Uh... Okay, nope, didn't get him. Damn. Sweet, got him there. Awesome. But even though these weapons are gaining more special points now, because as they level up, like I think in the final level ups in the game, each, or for the final weapons in the game, each level up counts for like six zip points each. Which is double when you started the game, so. Ooh, don't hit me, don't hit me. Yeah, these, these guys do pack a punch, so watch out. I think they're usually Rypod enemies, actually. You know, it's funny that I can't tell anymore whether anything's a Rypod enemy or not, because I always base that upon how much damage uh, normal Max and Monica do, but I've leveled I've leveled up so much that it's honestly not an issue. So, uh, yeah. I do think they're supposed to be Rypod ones. I always hated that when the Dark Cloud 1 enemies end up being enemies that you have to have the Rypod to defeat. Like, I know, th I might, I know that might not seem like such a big deal to some people, but for me, it's like, you know, why is it that Tone in the first game can defeat the enemies no problem, but all of a sudden you get to the games now, and all of a sudden they're, you know, so much more powerful than they were in the last game. Um, I mean, I, I mean, it's it's a nitpick, but it's just something that really bugs me. Because, <laughs> you know, each game's supposed to be different. You know, they, they tried very much to make this a different game, but a similar game to Dark Cloud 1. I mean, hell, it didn't even keep the full name. It was called Dark Chronicles in Japan. So there, there is honestly no... You know, they didn't actually have to keep up with Dark Cloud exactly. Because when I was younger, and then I, you know, I really hated this game, and then when I found out, oh, it's not really a Dark Cloud game, you know, it, it's called Dark Chronicle, I'm like, oh, okay, I can give, I can forgive all its flaws. And then it's, you know, cause just because it wasn't Dark Cloud. But it's like, it, it technically is Dark Cloud, you know, trying to escape that fact was just me being, you know, trying to, you know, liking this game, and then trying to give an excuse for it. But, um, oh, hey, got my stone, nice. Did I get the Geostone here? I totally forgot. 
If so, I can get the fuck out of here. You got a Geostone, nice. I can get the fuck out of here, which is why I went here first. Haha, <laughs> -ha, fuck you. Ooh, what do we get? Ripod fuel, damn. Alright, and then another stone. I think after this, actually, the game's gonna want us to focus on, uh... Game's probably gonna want to focus on uh, building some shit because I have done none of that so far. <laughs> building in this game is that building in this specific area is actually a lot of fun. Oh no, we still got more to go. Seriously, I'm almost at the halfway point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got nine more things to go, and I've already done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have done six, so I have been kicking ass so far. Um, I. Th think after this one I don't know I'm trying to think when the halfway point is in this in this specific uh, area all right so luckily Max's laser this says it's supposed to be a bat den but Max's laser gun usually wipes these things out so fuck you honestly I'm not gonna worry about experience right now I I, I feel so cocky oh no I got frozen oh no Oh no, I got petrified. Ooh, that's bad. Yeah, I need to buy more of those things. Yeah, the Medusas can petrify you. Which is a little bit different from time. Being timed, you can run out. Time can run out. Being petrified, I do not believe you can exit petrification. Or at least if you can, it has to be a long-ass time afterwards. So be careful. But anyway, me ignoring some experience makes me seem kind of snooty. I don't need your experience. I have enough experience. My father owns an experience factory. Which is why I'm a rich snob. Nah, jokes aside. Alrighty then. So yeah, that throbbing cherry can be used to heal time, but it cannot be used to heal petrification. I need to go talk to the priest again because he sells the, uh... He sells those things, which is really nice. Or the, uh, the things to get rid of petrification. Oh no, I'm not killing the bats in one hit. Guess I gotta do 50 more hours of training now. Too bad. Actually, uh, I didn't even do the uh, last area in the game, the, the after game place, and I think I clocked around 60 hours into this game. And I am at 50 right now, meaning that I am level grinding a hell of a lot more than I did in the previous game. It, the, the difference is, though, is that doing Let's Plays is very different than, dark, than when you do actually play a game. Because me doing a Let's Play here, uh, the thing that I do different than when I actually play a game is that usually, I don't know how many times I would have just done certain things in this game instead of level grinding. Many different times I would have just said fuck it, and I would have went in and did specific events in the game, but because I knew those events would mean I'd have to start recording, I decided to level grind for like an extra hour and a half, just because I can't I can't do any videos until tomorrow or something like that. So because of that, you know, I, I uh, you end up spending more time in a game when you let's play. Oop, got that. I'm getting really lucky with these uh, stones here, you know? I mean, I'm not I'm not the luckiest, but... You know, it's not like I'm entering an area and I see the exit and I just got the geostone as well, but, you know, better than usual. Alright, and the new area is up there. Sweet. God damn, we are just, we are just running through these places. <laughs> I can't imagine if this was Dark Cloud 1, though. I'd, I'd still have to get, like, ten different Georama parts. You know, like, I, I am happy that they changed that about this game. You know, because, you know... I used to think that that was such a big thing that they that they really kicked back on that. I used to think that they didn't do anything at all, but I was stupid and forgot. Oh, also, something interesting. Broken in this game does not mean the weapons disappear. They just don't work until you heal them. I think they do no damage or something like that. I was too paranoid from Dark Cloud 1 to ever do that, so yeah. <laughs> so, just to keep that in mind, broken does not mean, uh... When a weapon breaks, that does not mean it's broken for good. It just means that it's... It doesn't work until you use repair powder on it, so keep that in mind. You should never have to worry about that, though. If you do want to get some free repairs, though, uh, Cedric does... As one of Cedric's abilities is repairing your, um... Repairing both your weapons, and he has a bit of it, so he can repair a bunch of stuff at once. So if you need to save money on stuff because you don't have durable, go for that. Why not? Alright, next area? Good. Ah, oh, goddamn, we still got shit to do. Fuck, game. <laughs> Come on. Throw something at me. <laughs> Maybe a bomb or something. Come on. 
I don't know, depending on how fast this next area is, this might be the very last one, and then I will be good for a while. <laughs> These are very boring videos, though. I will probably tell people in the comments below to skip a lot of these because I like to do that I like to tell people when they can skip videos with my videos hell in my infamous one let's play I, I made extra videos for just me goofing around trying to train up uh, Cole McGrath but um or I think it's McGrath kind of said that wrong but um oh no 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 let's kill this guy now okay got him nice yeah these guys do too much damage to fuck around with but anyway in Dark Cloud 1 I oh god damn it he's fucking these, these things fire stuff that's too quick sometimes. Okay, good. The the gun isn't actually half bad, too. Oh, yeah, that thing explodes. Run away. I forgot about that. They either do the big explosion things, which you can throw back at them, but I wouldn't recommend it. But anyway, I, I like to do extra videos to tell you guys, oh, hey, you know, I'm just talking about random shit here, and I'm not really doing anything too important. Oh, I've already got the geostone in that, so we just gotta find the exit. Hopefully it's around here. I'm just going to skip this area because fuck off, game, if I can get more of this dungeon done without having to, uh... Because I'd love to get to the next point in the game where I don't need to do anything else and, you know, then focus on the whole building aspect. Because if you guys haven't caught on to the pattern, you know, you play the game, you have to unlock something, and then you, you know, you go through the dungeons until you have to unlock something, and then you, you have to start building something to unlock that thing, and then rinse and repeat until you finish the chapter, and then do it all again. <laughs> Hey, nothing good there, okay. Guess it might be more down this way. But, uh, yeah. I, I, I like to do extra stuff after a certain point. This will just be a giant, what, fucking... Almost... God damn. I'm really, I'm really considering just speeding up the footage, maybe, or maybe cutting, you know, the, the bits of it. Of me finishing a level or something like that. I don't know, I think I'm gonna stick with the extra stuff. Because the thing is, is that many people have told me that I need to skip out on some footage. Many people have told me that I need to learn to cut a little bit better because they, they feel as if my videos can get too long. But I hate cutting out stuff because I feel like there might be someone out there that really wanted to see something. And I think cutting that sometimes can be a pain. I, I mean, I've tried to get around that feeling. But for something like this where it's so cut and clear about what I need to do, I think I'm just going to say fuck it and uh, do what I do. Call these videos that you can skip and then you can skip them on your own. Because that's the good thing about YouTube. It's not like uh, you have to watch these things. I mean, the only difference is release date time. You know, oh, hey, you know, I can't skip to the next video, Michael, because you just uploaded the... You just uploaded, and then I'm just like, fuck off, I don't care. <laughs> no, I, I get it. I hope you guys are liking the schedule that I'm uploading. I upload for two days, and then I stop, and I upload for two days. I thought it was better than just every other day. But at the same time, it wasn't as bad as waiting. Oh, of course, it's just right here. I just had to look. And whatever, I didn't have to kill every monster, so I'm okay with that. Oh boy, another Luna Stone, call it a day. Alright, I can do one more area. Hopefully, doing that one area means that I will be good to go. Because after that, we do get to the split off point. Oh no, we got the Cave of Merles. Okay. Uh, we got enough time, so I'm actually going to do this. I need to clear up some more space for this uh, profile. No, I saved here, I think. I try not to do multiple saves while I'm doing one video, because the point of saving previously is in case a save file messes up, I could just go back and uh, re-record it. All right, so we're gonna go in this area, Cave of Ancient Murals. M murals. Sorry, I said that wrong. Whoa, what's all this? It's one of those murals called Moon of Destruction. They discovered a whole bunch of them in my era too. Moon of Destruction. They show an imaginary world oh, hey. where the moon comes crashing down, destroying mankind. Nobody's been able to figure out why there are so many of these things, or what purpose they served. Wow. Well, what's the point of so many murals all exactly the same? So if you haven't noticed, actually, this is the beginning thing that you see when you play Dark Cloud 2. Uh, if you remember the very first part of the Let's Play, this is where you have to choose new game, continue, all that kind of stuff. Kind of cool that they kind of show it at this point. Maybe the ancient people were trying to tell us something with these murals. Tell us something? Oh, I don't know. It's just a hunch. Something about them makes me think so, I guess. Hmm. Oh, hey, Shingala. What? Whoa. Shingala? 
Oh man, you got feisty. What the hell? Oh god damn. He's not gonna listen to us. Poor Shingala. Shingala. See that's good voice acting there. I like that voice acting. But anyway, jokes aside, uh Shingala, oh boy. Some something uh something's corrupted Shingala. He's all fucked up now. What's happened to Shingala? He doesn't recognize me. It's not that. You saw the strange device on his head? I'm sure that it's controlling him. We've got to think of some way to get it off of him. Maybe the people at Luna Lab will know a way. Yes, exactly. They might be able to help us. Let's go. All right then, guys, so we got to do the whole building aspect of the game, but we're not going to do that until the next episode. Because that would be, uh, I don't got the time, and I think my PlayStation 2 is burning up again. <laughs> no, I actually gave a little bit of a break between the last two video the sessions that I made of Dirt Cloud 1. But anyway, guys, the only thing, I could probably end this video off just showing one specific thing. So you have to do building on this water here. I'm not kidding. We'll download these geostones. Why not? I'll just explain what I'm going to be doing next time. Got a lot of geostones to download, though. Like, holy shit. Iron house, iron stand, iron shed, iron stairs, iron cock. Oh, sorry. Uh, bridge blocks, blah, blah, blah. So you got all these bridge blocks, shop, boat, looted land, all, all the conditions and whatnot. I'm just gonna click through them here. Hey, one of them is Donnie living here. Nice. That kind of makes sense. Donnie's kind of a, a guy who would use his uh, abilities for the greater good. But no, as you can see, instead of kind of specific locations, we have labs. Lab 1, 2, 3, 4. In all honesty, I'd rather be building a giant robot, but hey, this works too. And then Luna Lab itself has all the labs together and whatnot. So yeah, we gotta build ourselves some different locations. Now, the funny thing is, is that you can't just build stuff here. You know, I will make a... I need to make an iron thing. Because... where's it at? We have an iron house here. Boom. So I just made this iron house. So I just made this iron house. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to build this iron house. No, you can't build it on water. And we can't build stuff on land. So what the fuck game? No, what we're actually supposed to do is that we're supposed to take these blocks, put them in the ground. And then if you have enough of them, you can actually put the houses here. Now, I can't do that yet because it's not enough. But basically, that is how this whole area works. You have to turn this whole kind of... This, this whole area, this whole, you know, water spot into an actual location to place, um, you gotta, you gotta transform this whole location to actually turn it into a livable spot, which I think is really cool, though the only thing I can say is that it's kind of stupid that you're gonna be building on top of the fucking ocean. I mean, I don't know how the weather patterns work here, but, you know, if you get too bad of a storm, you know, like, that's, your, your stuff's just gonna sink. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, I do hope you guys have enjoyed this session of Dark Cloud 2. We got a lot done today. Oh, hey, look at Max. Yeah, this happens. If you go through the water, he actually goes slower. It's kind of cute. Do what Monica does. I like the little hippity-hoppity. So anyway, and one thing I do like is that it's a lot easier to get your hands on the save point, though the future point is up in a location you can't just instantly transport to. That pisses me off. I can't just use my thing to get all the way up here. I mean, it's not too bad, but... It annoys me, I can't just teleport right next to it. And yes, I am nitpicky like that. <laughs> but anyway, time for me to save, and uh, next time we will continue on with lots of fucking building. So I do hope you guys have enjoyed this session of Dark Cloud 2. I will catch you guys next time. This is Mike Jr. the Second, signing out.